you know, I think a lot of people bring the idea of, of elves, uh, you know, that they are sort of somewhat pouty. pouty. <laughs> They're stuck up, right? <laughs> okay. They are like, Aussie. hey, we are elves, and so we are better than uh, most other creatures. They, you know, they bring kind of a... Racism. Uh, oh, yeah, I mean, totally. I mean, I think, uh, you know, elves in D&D uh, fit this sort of, like, racial hierarchy that almost exists for some players where they're like, hey, here are elves, and we put them at the top, and here are orcs and goblins, and we put them at the bottom. Okay. See, with for, for me, I hate playing elves or human characters because they're so boring to me. Like, um, I was convinced to tr- at least try Final Fantasy fourteen, the MMO version, and the only race that I could play was the Cat Boys because <laughs> everything else seemed so very boring. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, they are... They are around enough now that they can seem almost vanilla in, in a sort of speak. So I, I get what you're saying. No, but I, I mean, I think you're right. I think for a long time, uh, at least around Dungeons and Dragons and Dungeons and Dragons related fiction uh, and in the game rules uh, from, I don't know, 15 to 30 years ago, um, they, they occupied a, a biased place. Um, uh, they 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 seemed special to the authors, and the authors made them uh, more special because that's how they felt. Um, and there are a number of examples of things for elves, uh, mechanical options for elves that are just extra powerful, or uh, or stories, D and D stories with elves where they're just extra special. They're just so special. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's 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 true too that like there's been plenty of of exploration in the other direction. Like if you think about uh, I, like I like the the Dragon Age series where elves are sort of this fallen race that are now sort of the looked down upon and and preju- people are prejudiced against them uh, instead of sort of the opposite of uh, what most people I think think of elves, which is sort of like high and enlightened mm. and and over at race and. Mm-hmm. So like in Dragon Age, when they're treated like, you know, they're put in slums and are right. essentially slaves. And um, even the, even that ground is well trodden, you know, when it comes yeah. to elves. I'm told there's some of that also in The Witcher. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. And I think one of the primary stories of The Witcher is is a sort of elf rebellion. Mm-hmm. that is going on. Hmm. Yeah. Um, Nick mentioned that in uh, the War podcast, actually. That's right. That's right. Maybe that's why I know about it. I also really like the God of War's interpretation of elves because they're not, they're flying like bug like creatures and they're strange to me. Hmm. I think that's a big part of elves when they're done really well is that they are recognizable as humanoid, but there is always something alien and otherworldly about them. I was like, uh, at least in God of War, uh, the new one. They're they don't speak English and you can't understand what was going on and huh. their and their language is very mashed together. They're mostly in you don't really see them out of their armor, at least for the dark elves. Mm-hmm. You kind of see the light elves, but they're really like insect like to me. Yeah, all of right. Is the it, whole it's a good take. I like I like that game's take on elves. Is it a little like uh what is it? The the Pan's Labyrinth kind of perspective on on fairies where we meet some and they're these very like insectile fluttering flitting flittering things yeah they're like underground creatures and like uh when you're fighting the dark elves it's like a hive like you're, there's like hive things everywhere their world is very pretty but you don't get to explore it's one of uh, their realm is the one of the ones that you don't explore the most of hmm. I think it might be the smallest realm. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been a little while since I played that game. But in general, it sounds like we agree that elves are more interesting when they're not basically little people who make toys for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're, they're more interesting when they're more alien. Except, of course, I mean, the greatest, the greatest elf of all time is Will Ferrell's elf in the movie Elf. Uh, you can't hate that movie. I hate that movie. Oh, no. <laughs> Fight.